Hey friends, in this video, just real quickly, I'm gonna show you how to find uh, a leak in a tire. You know, it's not always that you have nail penetration. It's one of the really important things that before we go ride all these motorcycles, we wanna make sure and check tire pressures. Uh, in this case, we have a really leaky bead. I'm gonna show you how we, you know, how we found it. It's probably the worst leaking bead I've seen, but it's a bike that was kind of built more as a show bike. It was the, uh, the RC51 class project. If anybody remembers that, if you've been a fan of the channel for, for quite a while, but sitting on this stuff is hard. So we got leaky fork seals. We had a, a tire leak and we're going to get it all in shape because it's going to a, an owner. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I uh, found it. I'm going to show you this crazy uh, all the way around bead leak. And then some final pro tips in the end. Let's do it. If you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. All right, no big surprise. We're going to take really good soapy water, spray it around the wheel, uh, around the bead area, all over the wheel. You're going to see here in a second uh, really, really well, and then take a look at it, do both sides. Uh, it, this is in the case you just think that there's a bead leak and that there's no obvious uh, nail hole. So with that being said, look at how bad this bead leak was on this. Check out this photo. This had this crazy like it leaked and then there was a space and that leaked and space is probably the worst bead leak I'd ever seen. Just for comparison of good and bad, look at the first photo on the left is the, the leaky side, the right side of the bike. But this exact same wheel, exact same bike, exact same day. Here's the uh, right side of the vehicle with not a leak on it at all. Just weird the way it works out. Let me go ahead and show you what we did to fix it and then what you can do to uh, take care of this yourself. So we dismounted the tire and found uh, parts of the, the tire had uh, separated and it was on the, the bead area creating an uneven surface and then also even some old paint that really should have been removed better. So clean off the wire brush, just keep going. You should do this with every single tire change. Don't take it for granted. I want to show you something that uh, always tripped up my students or a fair amount of students when they would go to you know, do their hands on practical for uh, finding a tire, you know, a, a leaky tire. And they'd get their soapy water, like they were told, and get it really good and soapy and shake it up. They'd spray it around, and then they immediately see these bubbles, and they think, oh, no, there's there's still a leak. And so what you want to do is just kind of pop the bubble, and you can even run your finger. You just want that soapy mixture, like, down in there. And if you have a leak, it will keep bubbling. The fact that these bubbles are just sitting there and holding the retention of the soapy water, that's a totally nominal situation. So if you're struggling with that, there's your little tip. But what you want to do is just kind of keep uh, going along, checking this. What I like to do, just uh, let the tire sit. You know, just throw it on here, walk away, do something else, make some other money in the shop, and you can come back and you do two things. You're going to look for those bubbles, and then secondly, you're going to check that the PSI is the same that you uh, put in, right? So that's a good way. And then ultimately, last thing to say is do not forget to check, you know, your valve uh, stem itself as well. And, uh, you know, make sure that that's not leaking around its base and then also on the core itself, okay? So best way to do that tip the wheel up and down and then check it that way. Well, it's all done. Ready for the track. New owner is going to take and put it through its paces. It's pretty cool. This was a three year project with students at uh, this college I used to teach at every Wednesday night. We'd, uh, there's only about three of us. Actually, I can tell you who. There's Art, Connor Brown, man, Chris. And then, uh, actually, these were the painters. Graphics installed by, I think Bailey signed that. Looks like Connor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Harris exhaust, Olin's rear, uh, Olin's internals front, EBC floating rotors, still braided lines, front, rear, clutch. Uh, check, uh, Dan Kyle goodies in there. All the bolt-on stuff he had. Exhaust is wrapped. Um, 
chain and sprockets, of course, all that. I mean, we the, the students even got to do the do the motor. Uh, yeah, what a what a fun project. Just kind of going down memory lane right now. The racing stripes were all the programs of study at the college. That was what the graphic department at the college came up with. I thought that was kind of rad. There's our motorcycle power sports program. All the different opportunities to learn some skill sets. Super cool. Gonna miss you. Hate to see you go, but can't keep them all. Friends, if you haven't done so yet and you're just passing through, make sure and sub. If you uh, know a buddy or a friend that could benefit from this, share the video with them. As always, we're going to get back at it, make it a great day, and keep wrenching.